What's up, guys? Chris at Abstract Tiger, and I'm here reacting to another episode of The Mandalorian. All right. So, this, ah, uh, I'm still jazzing over last week's episode. Last week on The Mandalorian, we had, oh, goodness, let's see here. Let's start at the beginning. One of the most uh, fun filled and best landings ever. Not really. It was more like an Anakin Skywalker type of landing for the Razor Crest. Um, and let's see, we had Frog Lady meet Frog Papa. And they uh, uh, had their uh, thing. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, let's see, we also had, I don't know, these... This, this person called, uh, oh, I don't know, Bo-Katan show up? Yes, yes. That was the highlight, live action, Bo-Katan of Clan Kree's, as portrayed by her VA, <laughs> uh, Katie Sackhoff. Oh, my goodness. It was so great. Ah, oh, man. And we also got a name drop of Ahsoka Tano. So, uh... Yeah, let's see what else. Um, Bukatan is on a hunt for, well, two things. Well, they're kind of related to each other. One, uh, Moff Gideon, because Moff Gideon has the second thing, you know, thing she's really looking for is the Dark Saber. You know, um, for those of you who don't know what that is, well, uh, a real brief history, decades, centuries, centuries, centuries before episode one, the Phantom Menace happened, uh, the only Mandalorian Jedi to ever, you know, be in existence created the Darksaber. And throughout the history of Mandalore, he who holds the Darksaber rules Mandalore. And, um, yeah. Uh, also, uh, let's see, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, we had some very effective combat against some really pathetic stormtroopers. I just, I just, sometimes you just like, all right, well, you guys give it your best shot. All right, you know, just whatever. Moving on. Uh, all right. So, where are we going this week? I have no idea, but I am really excited to see. Are we going to see Ahsoka now, or are we going to get, like, another break, uh, you know, another side quest before we actually get to the planet Corvus, I believe, is where yeah, he's heading. And, yeah, uh, is it going to be one of those things where that's where Ahsoka actually is? Or is it, like, the last known position where Ahsoka was? What's she been up to? Anyways, we have our five here. We have a tiger. Oops, sorry, tiger. Yay. I figured I'd have a little bit more something here visually. Oh, also got this, this cool stuff here. Anyways, all right. Let's get going on this reaction. Ooh. It sounds sick. Uh... What? Show me the red wire. The red one. <laughs> yes, good. Yes. Now, you're going to plug that red wire where the blue wire goes in the board. No, don't don't put the blue one back. <laughs> put the red wire. Oh, he's trying to teach wire. him. No, hold them apart. Oh! Okay. All right, I see what they're doing. <laughs> oh, it's Kara. Oh. Wow. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, the siege. Okay. Great music. Ah. Uh, hey. Carl Weathers, he has a goatee now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Have you been taking good care of him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he said yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Aw. He's like a grandpa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How about the Millennium Club? Hey, it's a school. That's cool. Nice. Things have changed a lot around here. We're going to leave the little ones for your sister. I was really hoping I was going to make a Doctor Who joke, and I was like, You've changed the desktop. I don't like it, but you know, I like it. It's pretty cool. Nobody finds it. They look like spaced thin mints. Oh. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Wow, that's quite a debt. Let me assure you, I do not want to spend any more time in carbonite. I still can't get on my left eye. Ugh. Okay. Don't tell me to drop you off. But the front door. The, okay. Close for a civilian, don't you think? I got two choices for you. You take us in and I knock a hundred years off your debt. Or, or I leave you out here in the lava flats to walk home with whatever's left in your humidity pest. Ooh. So much of a scrape, is it? Look, lady, this is rated for light plumbing and such. You're lucky I even packed it at all. Ah. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. You come in or what? I'll take my chances down here. Thank you. Well, when the lava tycoon turns, give us a holler. We'll drop you away. Mm -mm. What? What? Put it down there. Why don't you take it with you? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. No guardrail on this Yeah, most things that the Empire made are not exactly OSHA compliant. Yeah, just don't look down, just look at the uh, the thing there in front of you. Sorry, that's just <laughs> Basically, they turned this entire thing into a, like a, a volcano that's about to erupt. Ten minutes is lost. That's not very long. Destroy it. Uh, what? What? What did they do? Oh, I didn't see what was on the screen. They shot it too quick. They were also obviously trying to. What is that? What are those? Are those? Hey, it's the dark. They were cloning something or someone's. Okay. Must be an old transmission. Mark Gideon is dead. No. He's forty three days old. Okay, so Moff Gideon was trying to clone something or someone. Oh jeez. <laughs> Just turn Hey Ah well. Whoa! That was cool. Ding! You're dead. Really? Oh, look at the, was the Titan Fighters in the background. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, there goes the speeder. Boom! <laughs> One mess. Don't get cocky. Ugh, mush. Where? Oh, there he is. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was dark. Oh, uh, not quite. Not quite done yet. Air support's coming. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, there goes the gun. The one gun. Good grief. Oh, what was that? <gasps> hey! Razor Crest. He still got the Thin Mints. <laughs> Who blinks first? Mando or Flick? Well, okay, never mind. No blinking involved, just explosions. Not too bad, huh? Uh. Oh! Oh, boy. Uh. Oh, hello. We have a... Not a Star Destroyer. Well, maybe it is a Star Destroyer. That's pretty cool. They put a tracker in the Razor Crest. That was one of the guys who worked on it. Ooh. Does he still have you? Yes. Our source confirmed. Hmm. And he will be great. Ooh, okay. What is that? I could tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are those? Are those dark troopers? From? Oh! Hey, Carl Weathers. He directed this one. Sweet. Cool. Hey. Well, this was definitely a interesting episode. Uh Obviously, some sort of cloning type of uh, operation going on because that they said that wasn't really a military. It was more of a like a well. They said it didn't come out and say it, but it was like more like a science uh, station of some sort. I couldn't tell what was in those pods, but obviously they're trying to clone. Like some sort of what force sensitive or force capable creature, or are they um maybe not just like a direct clone, maybe doing some like eugenics type of thing, uh, trying to uh make like create something new, um. Uh, you know, just kind of taking a bunch of different things and like mushing them together and creating something. Uh, but that shot at the end, though, those look like the dark troopers from, um, oh, what was it? The, uh, oh, um, the comic series that they had. Uh, I think it was like Dark Empire or something like that. Uh, I'm trying to go through here, but anyways, yeah, I think those were like dark, tr dark troopers, um, and uh, they uh, they had uh, like some dark side force abilities and stuff like that, but they were uh, used uh, uh, by. Uh, well, well, the remnants of uh, the Empire in the comics series. Uh, kind of like what battle droids were, but they were... Uh, yeah. Um, anyways, I think that's what it is. It's it's uh, from the Dark Empire uh, series, if I'm 
come up later, just let me know in the in the comments below. I'm not too familiar with a lot of the old legend stuff, um, but I do recognize those. Um, in fact, for those of you who have watched Rebels um, and when Thrawn was um, in that, there were I guess some. Um, dark trooper-esque looking droids that he would spar with. Uh, they were definitely inspired by that. I don't think those droids, I think those were just strictly droids that Thrawn was using to just, you know, do combat training against. They weren't actually dark troopers. Uh, like this. I, okay, so now we know why uh, Moff Gideon is wanting the uh, the child. Because he need they he needs the blood I guess to help infuse with force powers. They they mentioned an M count. They didn't come out and say it, but they mentioned M count, which that for those of you who've seen episode one, midi chlorian. Take that as you will. This is kind of a bit of a nod to that. Uh wow. Okay. This this is okay. Wow. This has actually gotten a little bit serious now. Um, I mean, I was in the in the, in the thing of, you know, okay, here we are, we're going to do just a little side trick, and okay, he's going to blow this thing, this base up, okay, and then, you know, he's going to go off and do his thing, but, oh my goodness. Behind the scenes? With what Moff Gideon is doing? Wow. Wow canonizing the dark troopers which that's ooh could we see here's a little bit of a thing put down in your comments below could we see an Ahsoka Tano versus a dark trooper combat in this maybe May, or, or well maybe not just her but could we get you know of course you know Din here, you know, our Mandalorian, uh, with Bo Katan and the Night Owls, with Cara Dune. Uh, that's a that's an intense team right there against dark troopers, a squad of dark troopers. I don't know how many was in that. Uh, um, let me try to back this up just a tad bit to see how many. Uh, I can see in this, there's a big, giant row. I'm sure there's probably, maybe a good, at least 20 to 25, maybe, maybe 30, I don't know. There's a lot of those dark troopers in this, in the, in that shot at the very end. Uh, Okay. Wow. This. Who? It, it. Wow. It, it. It's definitely shows that the you know the uh, showrunners you know Dave Filoni and obviously John Favreau they are not afraid to bring in some of these things that you know from legends that you know people have you know been you know 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 about uh, you know who know the old legend stuff before Disney said. Everything that's not the movie ends in TV is, is you know, not canon anymore. Uh, whenever they first acquired the, you know, the rights, but my goodness, um, uh, like I said, I personally don't know the, tr like the whole entire deal with the Dark Troopers. I know they are very, um, formidable. Uh, they were designed to combat like Luke's new Jedi order that he was uh, basically um, rearing at the time. Um, plus there was this also a thing um, that they kind of sort of did with uh, oh uh, Emperor Palpatine and Rise of Skywalker where he was trying to take over Rey's body or whatever after she sacrifices him. But yeah, there was a there was a storyline where uh, Palpatine had been jumping from clone body to clone body and 
it was not working anymore, so he tried to take over like one of a newborn of Han and Leia's, uh, you know, uh, and just basically take over the newborn body, whatever of the baby, and it was a whole thing. Um, I haven't read the comic in forever, um, but I do remember that bit with Moff Gideon working on Project Dark Trooper. Wow. That's uh that's a that's an in, that's a big deal. Man. Uh anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below about this. Uh also, <laughs> I kind of sort of meant to, meant to do it last episode, but you know, I made that comment during the reaction. I didn't know which ship I felt more sorry for the Razor Crest or the Millennium Falcon one you know the first time Han Solo got got a hold of it um if you guys you know put down in the comments below who which ship you felt sorry for the most <laughs> me I don't know I think I would go with the Millennium Falcon because I mean, she was tricked out, and Lando had a nice, it was all nice and spick and span, and it was, it was kept brand, almost brand new, um, I'm not sure how old, oops, sorry, R5, uh, you know, the, uh, YT 1300 series was at the time Solo happened, but, uh, it, it, it sounded like they were not in production anymore, but still, um, you know, anyways, let me know when down in the comments what you think. Which 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 chip did you uh, feel sorry for the most? Anyways, so um, what else? All right, I talked enough about the dark trooper thing. Um, we got Baby Yoda going to school, the child going to school, stealing some kid's space thin mints. I know, though, yeah, and just. Eating himself sick. Probably not helping by the fact that, you know, the you know Mando was doing all those aerial maneuvers. Just, oh, that was just gross. Just bleh. <laughs> oh, and it was the color of the cookie. Ugh, it was gross. Uh, <laughs> and um. Of course, we we got also another little mention of Cara Dune being from Alderaan again uh, there at the end. Um, didn't get to see Trapper Wolf. Got to see Captain Carson. But Trapper Wolf was somewhere. His X-Wing was sitting there as well. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, I think that's about it. I mean, not much other than uh, the one guy is now working off well, was 350 years worth of debt. Now it's dropped to, what, 200 and, uh, 220 years so, since 130 was taken off because of all the stuff that he did on this little mission. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I think that's going to be it. That's about all I got. Um, so, uh, I'm going to just kind of, I'm just going to, you kind of hold my, you know, see what where we go next week. Um, do we actually go to Cor Planet Corvus now and actually see Ahsoka, or is it like I said before? Is this a, you know, some place where she's staying, or is it some place where she had been staying and he has to go and track her down? Well, we won't know that until next week, unless you're watching this in the future and you all already know or don't know. You hadn't watched it, but these are the important questions. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye and be blessed. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.